the importance of having the right people around you. And, and I, I recognised that I'd kind of been doing this either instinctively um, some years ago and now do it very, very intentionally uh, because I also believe that large, uh, the, the large part of the success isn't necessarily just me. It's by having a group of people around me in work, out of work, that actually add value to that. So I develop my ideas, my thinking, my innovation, whatever, in conversation. So if I have the, a group of people around me, then I'll come up with great ideas. So I have to now consciously create an environment where that can happen. In in lockdown, I was working on one of the biggest um, pieces of work that, that our organisation had had um, put together, and I was really struggling. And I'm you know I'm used to writing big bids, big pieces of work. I'm used to you know pulling together compelling pitches, presentations, the whole lot. And I was just like, I can't, I can't get my solution together. I can't get the flow. I can't get my head into it at all. And eventually, I was like. Right, that's it. I need you, you, you and you. We're only in the office. We're going to sort it out literally in a day. Got it all clear. Got it all sorted. Was back, motivated back on and got it together. So making sure that you've got the right people around you is hugely important because the success that I've experienced, I believe, is is also down to having positive people around me that I can have, that I can rely on, that will challenge me, that will give me a different point of view. Yeah, I was, I was going to ask about that. So I'm glad you brought it up. And I think you just literally touched on a, a really good point there, which is about they'll challenge you. And I think if you develop people around you, yeah, um, then they'll call you out on your bullshit. Yep. <laughs> and I think that's so important. It really is. And then again, it comes back to having that confidence to go, yeah, actually you're right, I'm wrong. Yeah. That, that's, let's do it your way, you know, and, and figure things out. So I think, yeah, having that, that team around you, and I, I guess to some extent that applies for life as well, you know, call it a network or whatever you want, but having a good group of friends around you, I think that's really important. And it's, and it's, it's friends around you who are prepared to be that blunt. Um, and, and they want you to do well. <laughs> yeah, it's come from the right place. You know, we spoke about intent earlier. It comes from the right place. Um, having having friends around you who will add rather than detract. Um, I think that's that's another important one. So people who challenge you positively for the right reasons rather than necessarily, I don't know, be a drain. It's not. I'm saying that you can't be there to support people who do. You need to, but if that's your entire network of people who are doing you no know, take or people who drain, how, how, how are you going to, how are you going to go forward? With, yeah. yeah, exactly. Well, what's the saying? You're either some of the, the five people you spend the most time with, right? So if the, yeah. the people you spend the most time with, or the five people you spend the most time with are all negative fucks and, oh, yeah. you know, and they're just sucking the life out of you and every idea that you've got, they're like, nah, you can't do that. You can't do that. It's a bad idea. Then yeah, you're not going to get anywhere. Yeah, but exactly. how, how many how many people though are like that fucking loads? Like when you speak <laughs> yeah, about yeah. anything, oh, I'm going to do this. Oh, why are you going to do that? Oh, well, why well, not? That's not going to work. Why, why not? Yeah, yeah. What, what, do you actually think you're going to make money out of that? Well, if it does, it does. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But at least we can try it. You know, if, if it try doesn't, it. it's still good fun anyway. It's worth doing. You know? No, but yeah, it's but it's like that with anything. I've done loads of different stuff over the years, loads of different businesses. It's very different to both of you. Um, but all the time I've done it, my wife's been really supportive. But other people in my life. I've said to me, why don't you just get a proper job? Why don't you just do this? And then when I started earning money and being successful and being in a paper and I was on like BBC Devon and done loads of different cool stuff, then they're like, oh, well, well done, mate. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I knew you did. I knew you did. And then it's like, they get to a point where it's, it, they're, they're kind of kissing your ass a little bit because you've had that success. And then it makes me think, oh, just fuck off. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Just total just lack off. of authenticity yeah. from them to yeah. you. Yeah. And that's Do you know what I mean? how And, that's and how don't, don't get me wrong, I've not like fucking made, you know, millions and, and been super successful, but I've done all right. Do you know what I mean? Like I've done all right with my little ventures and the things I've done over the years. Mm. But people have flat out just like kind of laughed at me. I've had people saying, like, oh, I hope your shop burns down, I hope this happens. I all just being really like just nasty and just you know, just uh, but they're people that I was hanging around with. There were people that I would just be like yeah, so, like, so, yeah. so, so, so not that. <laughs> yeah, exactly though. But again, they, they were people that I was hanging around. I hope your shop burns yeah. down. Yeah, oh, yeah, I've had but that. I'm your friend. Yeah, I've had that. Yeah, yeah. I've literally, I had that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So pick your mates, and I think yeah. So that works important. Yeah, absolutely. I, I think so. I, I think there's you know, you know the the relationship that I have with you in terms of like you will be that blunt and honest to me and challenge me. Um, but I recall going back a few years ago, we were talking somewhere in Saltash about the the move that you made in your career now to take a, a, a really significant risk from a, a well-paid 
you know, achieving role, you know, that most people would consider actually quite a success in its own right to go and become a self-employed PT. And that whole conversation, if you, I wonder to what extent, if you'd had loads of people around you going, Paul, what are you doing? That's just ridiculous. Don't do that. Like, would that have influenced you enough or would you still made it? Um, but the importance of having people around you go, yeah, it's a great idea. Let's figure out how is hugely, hugely important. Yeah, do you know, I, I remember that conversation and, and there were certainly people around me, um, in a, not through malice, probably similar to a lot of other people that you've experienced, but you were telling me it was a really bad idea. Yeah. yeah. Because as you say, I was in a permanent well-paid job and I was looking to then move from that into a, a career in personal training and fitness where I was starting from nothing. So there were a few people going, you can't do that, that's insane, that's mad. And and I think I'd already learned at that point, it was, it was kind of picking whose opinion to value more. Yeah. And, and your opinion I valued a lot. And I think you were very positive at the time, but also quite frank and, and candid in regards to some of the things we need to consider, which were really important. And the other thing I realized at that point as well is, because I made a success of that and did very well. And I've Absolutely, yeah, very huge well. success, yeah. And looking back, I realized that certainly some of the individuals that were saying, who were very close to me, who were saying, you can't do that. I realized that, they weren't necessarily reflecting what their opinion of me was. It was their own opinion of themselves. And what they were really saying was, I can't do that. I couldn't do that. Yeah. Or I wouldn't do that. Yeah. 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 So if I were in your position, I don't think I could achieve what you're setting out to achieve. And, and, and now when I hear negativity, that's almost what I hear. It's not people saying you can't do that. It's saying them saying I can't do that. And I'm not them. So I don't listen. That's a really good distinction. I like, I like that. Yeah. And I, and I think it's right. You know, it's, it, it's like, you can't do that. I'm like, prove me wrong. Yeah, yeah. I, I can. <laughs> and I've always found that a huge motivator when people tell me I can't do something. Yeah, kind of like, okay, right, I will, I will do yeah, just, yeah. 100%.